Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for coming today, and welcome back to Senior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson today is called Head, Ribs, Hips, Action. For today's lesson, you will need a scrap piece of paper, a piece of drawing paper or watercolor paper, three colored pencils, graphite pencil, your favorite color medium, and an eraser. This week we're talking about the structure of the human body. Artists use many different methods to draw and paint the human body, from using gestural rhythms to painting the shapes of shadow and light. Artists have discovered many techniques for creating a human being. We're going to start with just one. The line of action. A gesture or rhythm when drawing is a simple line done in one stroke. It is meant to represent how different parts of what you are creating line up. The line of action is a gesture that represents how the head ribs and hips of the body line up. It is often extended to include one or both legs and feet and one or both arms and hands. This line can only either be a curve like a C, a double curve like an S, or a straight like an I. Of course, this line can be squished, stretched, rotated, flattened, reversed, and manipulated whichever way is necessary for the position the artist wants the body to be in. Let's start with an exercise called Action Stickman. On your scrap paper, in one stroke, draw a thin C curve with your colored pencil. This is your line of action. Now draw a sphere for the hips in the middle of the line of action with your graphite pencil. Draw another circle for the head at the top of the line of action. And draw a larger oval just below the head for the ribs. Now leave a little room for the neck. If the shapes look strange, too big, too small, too much space in between, erase them and redraw them to your satisfaction. Now imagine how this stick man is placed and add the legs on the hips with three lines, a flat C curve for the upper leg, an opposite flat C curve for the lower leg, and a flat I for the foot. Make the feet and at or near the same level as the bottom of the line of action. Now draw the arms with three flat C curves as well. Start the first where you imagine the shoulders being. This is the upper arm. The second is the lower arm. And the third is the hand. Now that you're finished your first action stick man, I want you to draw more S and C curve lines, uh, lines, uh, lines of action with your colored pencil and draw some more action stick men. Make sure you use different lines and this will create different poses. Now when you're drawing these, make sure that these poses make sense. Don't just draw the, the limbs in any position. Try to pose it like it was an action figure or a doll. The first one, I have a character that's actually looking up at the sky with their hand on their forehead. In this one, well, it's a really big C curve, so I decided to have someone bend over and actually hold on to their back with their other hand because it's a difficult uh, bend over. Maybe this person's a bit old okay? or has a big backache. So their knees are bent as well.
I did a, a, a C curve for this one, just like our first one. I decided to do it a bit of a reverse, so the person is actually facing the opposite way. I imagine this person actually floating up in the air, so their limbs are lying back, kind of like a superhero that's flying. On this last one, I decided to go with a bit more of, ex of an exaggerated reverse S. <laughs> In this one, I imagine the character doing some kind of martial arts pose. And you can see that I often ghost my line before I draw it, just to make sure it is where I want it to be. This piece is called Two Plumbers. It's a painting by Norman Rockwell, made with oil paints on canvas back in 1951. What would the line of action look like for the men in this painting? Is it C, S, or I? The man on the right has an inverted S line of action. The man on the left has um, a more exaggerated S line of action. Do you see where the rest of the action stick man goes? Here's what I found. Now you can see some really great exaggerated curves for the different parts of their bodies. Try to find the action stick man, including the line of action, from these other paintings. This piece is called Boy and Girl Gazing at, at Moon, also called Puppy Love. It's another painting by Norman Rockwell, made with oil paints on canvas back in 1926. What kind of line of action do you think they'll have? Is it an S, C, an S, or an I? Norman Rockwell was known for his characters full of life in his artwork. Here's the action stick man that I found. Now this piece is called Golfer. It's another painting by Norman Rockwell, made with oil paint on canvas back in 1920. You can see the exaggerations in these two characters. Is it C, S, or I, my friends? Here's what I found. Our project today is called Copy in Action. So the first thing you need to do is actually find a, and print an image of someone in action. It can be running, jumping, or doing any kind of activity. Make sure that he or she is in profile or front view. Other views require perspective and 3D structure, and you can attempt those later when this becomes easy for you. So on the print top, I want you to draw the line of action with your colored pencil. Since the person will be in, is in action, the line will be either a C or an S. Next, you're going to draw the action stick man over the photocopy with a different color.
take your time to make sure that the lines connect to the right spots. Don't have the arms coming out of the middle of the body. They come out the shoulders and make the legs come out of the hips as well. Now, with a third color, you're going to add the structure shapes to the rest of the body. So connect everything together. Think of the basic shape that's needed. You don't have to be um, specifically doing perfect rectangles or anything like that. Do shapes that do match the body parts, but try to simplify it. Don't try to get all those little crevices in. Make it simple lines and make a shape for each section of the body part, kind of like the way you did it with the lines in the arms and legs. One line for the upper leg, one line for the lower leg, one shape for the upper leg, one shape for the lower leg. Take your time to be accurate. And when I did the shapes for the lower legs, I connected it almost like it was some kind of um, action figure doll. So like a superhero um, action figure, where the legs connect on a diagonal to the hips. All right, once you're finished, you're gonna take your drawing paper or watercolor paper at this point. I want you to lightly draw the same line of action with your graphite pencil. Now you're gonna see me do it with colored pencil here. You should do it with graphite, but just lightly because that way you can erase it if you make a mistake. Try to make sure it's the same. Next, you're going to lightly draw the structure shapes over the action stick man. Be sure to keep these shapes the same size as on the photocopy. Be as accurate as you can. The more accurate you are, the better the result will be. This video sped up, so I actually did this even slower than what you see on the screen. Now you're going to lightly draw the structure shapes over the action stick man. Be sure to keep these shapes the same size as on the photocopy. Now you're going to carefully add the details over the structure. You want to draw these darker so that they stand out more than the line of action, the stick man, or the structure. Now, just because you're drawing the details doesn't mean you have to do the same details as in the photocopy. You can actually have fun. You have a good structure for any person right now. So you can turn this into any character you'd like. Have fun with it. That's what I did. You're going to see that I've even dressed him a little bit differently. Still added some pretty wild hair on his head. Gave him a big smile.
And I'm adding a few dividing lines or measuring lines on him just to give me a good idea of where the center of his torso is. Just This just helps me line things up before I draw them. Once you're completely finished, if you want, you can go ahead and color your person with whatever medium you'd like. Have fun with it. Thank you, my friends, for joining Senior Elementary Art Class. Merci beaucoup. I'm sure you made some amazing artwork. The more you practice these techniques, the easier drawing people will become, and eventually you'll be able to draw them in any position you want. So take care of yourselves, prends soin de vous, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.